Hey guys, Banana Luck here, and welcome back to another Watcher Realms video. We are back with an idea showcase. So, we're gonna use Gear it 1 and basically gonna use her to solo the entire stage as the only DPS. So, it's gonna be a weird lineup. We're gonna use uh, Maul as well as Aeon to actually um, push the units to the corner. And then, obviously, we need Gun as a lot uh, to make this work. And this works really well because Adia has a crazy range and she can actually snipe the boss even if she's situated right at the back here. So we're just gonna head in. All dominance is off. I'm gonna do this. Locks. I'm gonna do this. Maul at the side. So Maul's ultimate has a knockback as well. So we're gonna push it back from here. Ready out. And I think the boss health will be dropping quite quickly. 50%. You see that push. And follow down. Another round of push. And then I'm gonna do the idea out, and the boss is gonna die in this wave, I'm pretty sure. Yep. Balance and all things, idea sniping the boss with just, you know, relative ease. So do the. I'm keep pushing these units on that side all the way over. And then use Aeon again. Wait for more units to walk in, and then I'm gonna use Aeon's up again here. Pretty much gonna be just cycling ultimates here. We get more push, Aeon Saki Saki, and then I'm gonna do the Laurel despawn, which probably should have done more of. I don't think these two dudes can be sucked over. Oh, they can. Okay. Can be pushed over at least. I don't know why there's a bit of a weird interaction with that. And uh, that should do it. Yep. But he just follows it with ease. The show gear in a bit, but let's just take a look at damage first. It's crazy how this one unit can just wipe out the whole thing. Granted, need a gun to, you know, really make use of the damage. 165 million. I think when I tried to do a video on Kamet soloing, Kamet soloed with 250 million. Reason being that the boss heals, so Kamet can't snipe the boss, right? So just keeps healing and lots more damage is done there. So if let's say you're doing it with a lineup where, you know, you can actually get the boss out as soon as possible, then this is technically the amount of HP that you expect all the mobs to have. So obviously Adia does superbly well here, and just take a look at gear. So, so far Akana, because she gets out so many ultimates and obviously Realm Tear, just for maximum damage. And then uh, Dolores. The usual uh, invigoration, kin wisdom. Then more is in my 
Rich Regen uh, GVG gear. So you can see he did about 16 million, was it? Boca is just there for the respawn time, even though we didn't use L'Oreal much. And then Leia is also in an invigoration set. Uh, sorry, the Ascalipius one actually. And then Hollow right here. And then Aeon uh, just borrow a set from Mari, which is HP, Attack Speed, and Rage Regen. And of course the Mana Spring to, you know, get her to dish out more ultimates quickly. So a bit of a meme uh, build, if you ask me. Uh, just using this to, to, you know, guide the mobs to the side. But yeah, that's uh, something that I wanted to do with Adia since she was launched on Global because I always saw videos where, you know, people were sniping the boss, but I wanted to do one where, where, you know, she just solos the entire thing and she actually can. So yeah, that's the video. Uh, if you have any questions, leave it down in the comment section below. Obviously, we're going to think of more places where we can use a deer. Um, right now, I have a setup in uh, two of my, obviously not anti-air, but she can't hit air. That's the only downside. Uh, AoE, that's a northern lineup because uh, this sustains much, much, much better. And then single target, uh, yeah, it's just the chaos lineup because you need all the single target damage. And even though she's AoE, um, like with her kit, a single target damage is crazy because of that uh, 7.9k base attack. I think on wave 6 or 7, uh, with her ultimate on, she just like who hits uh, those uh, monsters that have that AoE damage around her. So this is where I've used her. And I think Gear Dungeon 2 uh, is focused on physical damage, so we'll definitely be using her as well. But yeah, this is where I've deployed her so far. And yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to leave it down in the comment section below. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.